The price per month is only 0.97 flux. Choose whatever country, whatever IP you want at less than half of a dollar. This is probably the best VPN you can find out there right now. A burner phone is an inexpensive mobile phone designed for temporary, sometimes anonymous use after which it may be discarded. Imagine you're someone like Jason Bourne, you go over to a foreign country and you just need a phone for a couple of days and you make a call, a couple of calls and you throw it away. So nobody could track you. You have been compromised. Abort mission, destroy phone. Destroy phone. But today we're going to talk about a burner VPN. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, I am Mototech. I'm here to talk about blockchain, Web3, privacy, and cybersecurity. If you're interested, like my videos and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter or join our Discord. So there are really three reasons you would want to use a burner VPN. And those are privacy, privacy, and privacy. Just like a burner phone, a burner VPN, you should be able to acquire it anonymously. And at the same time, when you don't need it anymore, you should be able to just destroy it and throw it away and nobody can track it. So that is our goal today. I'm going to show you how to make one of these at super cheap price. I'm going to go through the steps first. There are a few very simple steps. And for this process, we're going to use a decentralized cloud service called Flux. And if you don't know what Flux is, I'll have some links in the description below to explain what Flux is and how it supports an anonymous and privacy focused decentralized network. So first we need to acquire some Flux. You don't want to use a credit card. You don't even want to use a gift card unless somebody else paid with cash and you got the gift card. So the best thing to do here is acquire Flux on the exchange or decentralized exchange where they don't need KYC and that's know your customer where you have to provide your IDs and stuff. So one of those places you can purchase Flux without having to provide IDs is KuCoin. And Flux also has, they call it parallel assets, which is tokens on other different blockchains. I believe right now there are eight or nine blockchains uh, that supports Flux tokens. And you can use a decentralized exchange if there's a liquidity pair and then use Flux Zellcore to swap over. But the easiest way is probably just go on KuCoin and buy some Flux. Or if you be mining Flux with GPUs, that's another way you can acquire Flux without having to provide your identifications to anybody else. Once we have our Flux tokens, we'll use Flux OS to deploy our container to set up our server. The best part of this, you don't have to sign up for anything during this entire process. So you can protect your identity. You can also pick whatever country you want. You can soft deploy, hard deploy to change your countries, your IP addresses. This is why Flux is ideal for a burner VPN. The next step, you will have to connect to your VPN. Unlike a regular VPN where you have to sign up using your email and your credit card. For this burner VPN, all you have to do is download a software. There are many different ones that can support this type of VPN and simply connect to it with a one-time username and password provided during the deployment process. Well, it's not my username and password and there's probably a chance that somebody else will be able to see the username and password. Well, the good thing is you don't have to come up with some random username and password you have to remember. And second thing is that this is a burner VPN. You use it and you throw it away. You can always implement double tunneling to provide more privacy if that's what you want, but that's out of the scope of this video. All right, enough talking, let's get this started. Oh yeah, by the way, there's something else you're gonna have to download and that's a Zellcore wallet. Zellcore wallet is one of my favorite self-custodian crypto wallet. And you will need Zellcore wallet when we deploy the app because you have to sign it with your Zell ID. And this Zellcore wallet makes it so much easier. So to deploy our Flux, we'll have to first go to runonflux.io. There are multiple ways to deploy and see here you can actually download Zellcore from this website too. So first thing I'm gonna go to the top left and click on Flux OS. And then I'm gonna click on Flux OS, this green button right here. And this will bring me to one of the many thousands of Flux decentralized infrastructure right here. And we're going to click using Zell ID to sign in. And this will bring you to our Zellcore wallet. And all you gotta do is sign with your ID. Once you're signed in, on the left side, we can come to apps and then we go find register Flux app. For the application name, we're gonna call this Flux Burner VPN. Description, we're putting, this is a 
VPN. Continent, this is great. You can choose whatever region, whatever country you want. You can narrow it down. For example, we'll go to North America. And then we go to the United States and we're going to pick somewhere in Texas. You can always come back to choose something else. And this is a great thing about it. If you want to watch video in another region or buy cheap airline tickets from another country, it's a great option. You can also choose uh, which continent you don't want to use. But in this case, we, since we already chose a very specific geolocation, we don't want to do the forbidden geolocation. We're going to choose a minimum amount of three instances, and this is cheap and it does provide redundancy. Component name, we're going to call it Flux Burner VPN. Description, really put whatever. Repository, we're going to go to Andre01, Soft Ether, copy this, go back, paste, and then putting a colon, go back to Andre repository again. We're going to find the tag. The latest tag is this 4.38-9760-2. Copy, paste it next to the colon you just put down. The container port we want to use 443. And this is because we don't have any elevated privilege or net admin uh, privilege for this container. So we're just going to use 443. This is a very common SSL port that we use to browse every day. And this is basically a workaround. And for the high port, we have to pick anything above 3. 30,000. We're just going to do 31443 so we can remember. For domain, this is a parsing issue in my opinion. You have to put two double quotes in there so it knows there is no domains. We're not going to put any environment variable here. It should be able to generate everything for us. For the CPU, 0 0.5 should be good enough. It's just yourself or maybe a couple of other devices using it, right? So we're just going to pick one CPU. For RAM, 500 is probably enough. For this video purpose, I'm going to use one gigabyte of RAM. You know, Raspberry Pi would run on a 16 gig of SD card. So for our storage, we're going to pick 16 gig of SSD. Container data, we're going to put it under slash temp, and that is slash TMP. From here, we're going to compute register image. It's going to verify everything, and it tells us the application name cannot start with flux. So we're just going to have to change it to maybe burner flux VPN. Does that work? Let's see. Compute. All right. So we're going to have to change the component name burner. Let's do burner flux VPN and compute again. Now it opens up a new section. Scroll down on the page. It will have a registration message. You have to sign this with your Zelle ID. So uh, all you got to do is on the right side, click sign with Zalcor and open. And now you just put in your pin and then sign. So now you see a signature is in this field. You can read the price per month is only 0.97 flux. Right now, flux is under 50 cents. Choose whatever country, whatever IP you want at less than half of a dollar. This is probably the best VPN you can find out there right now. All right, now go ahead and click register flux app and this will take about 10 seconds so you just gotta wait you don't need to click it twice and then you scroll down you'll see another section that says you must have paid 0 0.97 flux to this address so all you gotta do is pay with zalcor click on it and open and brings you up to pay and proceed so now uh, we're gonna choose fast the miners can mine at first it really doesn't matter like the transaction fee is almost zero and we're going to click send and then you put in your pin you can check your transaction it normally takes about uh, two to 20 minutes anywhere in between that to get a block mined all you need is one confirmation i believe to get your app showing up on flux os so in the meanwhile we're going to go to the next step which is download our client to connect to this vpn so i'm on a windows device we're going to use soft ether VPN client, and you'll just go over to Soft Ether VPN client link, and this will let you download. On the top, there is a download link, it says download Soft Ether VPN. So you have the client where you use to connect to the VPN itself. You will actually have the admin uh, manager too. And if you're interested, you can download that and uh, log into your VPN server to change username and password and everything. You can discover that yourself 
In this video, I'm just going to download Soft Ether VPN client. So here I'm going to choose freeware. And then for here, there are many choices. And server manager is the one I was just talking about. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go with client. And now we're going to choose Windows. And we're download and install. For me, I already installed, so I don't have to go through the same process. So once you finish install, you open up the Soft Ether VPN client manager and looks like this. So let me just delete this to start from scratch. Delete virtual network adapter to. So this is basically what you are seeing when you first time open this application. And I'm only demonstrating this. I just want to mention that there are, for example, your iPad, iPhone, or Android, there will be other apps that will allow you to use a SSL VPN and you can use those apps too. So in this case, let's add a VPN connection. Double click. It will tell you, you got to create a virtual network adapter first. So you go ahead and hit yes. I'm just going to call it burner VPN must be VPN or VPN two. All right. I guess I have to follow the naming convention. It will have to be VPN plus a number. We'll just call it one, two, three. All right. Now it will create a new adapter. Okay. Shortly we see our adapter is enabled and now let's go back to flux OS. It's been about three minutes. All right. Now we see our burner flux VPN has shown up under my apps, we're going to expand this. Okay, perfect. We do see a IP address allocated for us. And what you want to do is visit flux node. So you see on the top, you are actually visiting this specific flux node. This step is very important. Don't skip. Once you switch over to this very specific node, you have to sign in using your Zelle ID again. So once you have signed in, the sign in uh, thing will go away. It will just say flux is working correctly. You want to go over to apps and then go over to local apps. You will see our app is running. And then uh, we want to go to my local apps. You can see Flux uh, VPN uh, expand this. It will show you the deployment information. We're going to click on manage and manage app. On the left side, what we want to go see is the log file. And this is where we're going to find our one is the server admin username and password, soft ether VPN, uh, server admin password, ibuprofen. <laughs> That's interesting. You can use this and the server manager application to change your regular username and password. So for us, we're going to scroll down more, look for the username and password for VPN authentication. Username is removal and password is this. I would just copy this down. So now we come over to our soft ether VPN client manager. We're going to double click add a VPN connection. We're going to call this a flux burner host name. We'll have to put in uh, this IP address, which is we're just copy and paste. And yours will be different based on whatever uh, node you're going to be using uh, for port number. When we deployed, we said it was three, one, four, four, three and username. Make sure we put in uh, it says removal. Yours will be different. It's randomly generated, by the way. And then password, we're just copy and Paste. So we also need to put in a virtual hub name. Uh, let's look at it says default hub D E F A U L T. There we go. And now connect. It says offline, right click, connect. Okay, looks like we may have to delete the HTTPS and everything just to leave the IP address as the host name. We're going to try this again. Click OK. And then right click and connect. And now looks like it's connected. All right, let's go to Google and say, what is our IP? And uh, hopefully it shows up as 38.124.160.33. All right, it does show up as 38.124.160.33. And just curious, I'm gonna do a speed check on this and we're gonna use fast.com and we'll just let it run and to see what type of speed we can get. Okay, okay. 22, 22 megabytes per second. This is actually great. I believe a flux node uh, requirement is cumulus is 25 megabits per second. This is great. We're getting a burner anonymous VPN for less than half of a dollar and you get 22 megabits per second, which is higher than a lot of the VPNs that can provide you. All right, guys, this concludes the video for today. I hope you've learned something new and I really hope you find this useful, especially with the holiday season coming up. I do want to send 
Special thanks to a Flux community member, Glasshouse. While I was trying to figure out how to set up a VPN using Flux, at the point when I thought it wasn't possible, he actually helped me and showed me this is possible through SSL. Again, if you have questions, feel free to ask it in Flux Discord or my own Discord. And as always, thank you for watching. I am Mototech. I'll see you next time.